Hi hey everyone, so I'm going to show you a really cool music program that lets you make your own beat and melody to go over the top. So, the first thing you need to do is search for Chrome Music Lab. And press enter. And you see the first one that comes up is Chrome Music Lab. Now if I click on this, there's actually loads of really cool music programs and I might do some more lessons on some of these others but we're going to just start with this one here called Song Maker. So if I click on that arrow it will take me to this page here. Now this is the grid that we're going to use to make our piece of music okay and there's two parts. The dots down here make our beat using a drum sound and these boxes up here are where we're going to put our melody or our tune. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just make that a little bit shorter. I'm going to click length. I'm going to go down to two bars. And you'll see that that makes it, there's fewer boxes now. Now, I always think the best thing to start off with is to make the beat. And if you see these dots down here, that's what we're going to use to make our beat. If you see here, if I click on this one, a circle comes up, and here, a triangle comes up. There's our two sounds, like a kick drum sound and a snare drum sound. Now, we don't want all of this filled up because it's not going to sound very good. Okay? We want to make a bit of a pattern. So, I think the best pattern to start with is circle, a triangle up here, a circle down here, a triangle up here, and you should be able to see my pattern now. Can you see the pattern? Now if I press play, that should sound like a basic drum beat. Okay, I like it. Now we can make it a bit more interesting by adding a few more circles and a few more triangles, but we don't want too many. We still need to have space. So if I put another circle there, a triangle there, and let's do another circle there. See what that sounds like now. I like it. Okay. Now we can change the sound of our drums as well. Uh, if I press play, when I click this, you'll hear the difference. Okay, so there are all the different drum sounds you have to choose from. I could also choose to make it faster or slower. Now, tempo means the speed of the song. You see, at the moment, it's on 120. If I make it faster, let's see what it sounds like. It's pretty quick. And if I go down here, much slower. So, I always think 120. It's quite a good one to stick on. I won't let me go back to 120, so I'll choose 121. So now we have our beat in place, we can start thinking of our melody. Now to make our melody, all we have to do is click on some of these squares and um, different colored boxes come up. They show different notes. And they have different instruments to choose from. I'm going to choose from I'm going to choose the synth which is going to be like a keyboardy sound. And I can just start Oh, you see there's kind of two halves. I'm going to start in the bottom half here. Let's see. I've just clicked on some boxes. Let's see what it sounds like. Again, we don't want lots and lots of colored boxes here because it makes it sound a bit messy. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so now that's kind of my lower note. I want something uh, uh, in the higher range as well, the higher pitch. So I can click on something a bit. See how it sounds so far? If you don't like something that you hear, you can click on the box again, it gets rid of it. Let's see, I want something a bit higher. Let's see what we sound like there. I don't quite like it. Now we can play around with a few other things. Um, at the moment, I've got a synth sound. Well, if I click on that, I can hear what my song sounds like played by other instruments. So if I click on this, it gives a marimba, which is like a wooden glockenspiel. Nice. I can have a piano sound. A string sound. A woodwind sound. And I think that's all of them. So there's some really fun things to play with. One of the most important things though is that we don't just fill up, it can get really tempting to fill up all of the boxes with colours, but let's see how that sounds. Not very nice, it goes a bit messy. So let me get rid of all of those. There we go. And by just having a few notes spaced out, we get a much nicer sound. In fact, I quite like the marimba sound. So, have a go, make up your own songs. Um, you can save them down here as well. Um, maybe if you could think of a way to send them to one of your teachers, I'd love to hear any music that anybody comes up with. Okay, so get playing with it and have fun.